Hi there, my name is Rob Clark of Excitec Limited. I'm a consultant with the professional services team. One of my roles is solution finding and what I mean by that is when people are implementing the BIM process uh, they'll quite often find little things that they need to do um, which are outside of the scope of the software or haven't been thought about in the software yet and we go away and find external solutions, things to plug into the software, things, other pieces of software that we can extract information out into in, in, in a BIM process. Um, occasionally we come across problems which we can't really find a solution to and that's where uh, where we're coming from with the Excitec toolkit. The Excitec Toolkit is a toolkit which is completely free of charge. It can be downloaded from our website. I'll post a link at the end of the session. And we're constantly developing it. And we've, via Twitter and LinkedIn and so forth, we've had some really good suggestions and feedback. And we're using those suggestions and what, on what uh, functionality to put in here. Um, the previous version of the toolkit had just a single tool which was the coordinate schedule tool which I'm going to show you in a minute and with the new version of the toolkit version 4.0.4 .4, we have introduced this renumber elements tool and you're probably already thinking well that tool already exists there's one from Autodesk for example I'm going to show you some of the things that we've done which are slightly different here which will hopefully solve a few problems for people um, but first of all, if I had to go with this existing tool, and you might have seen this before, the coordinate sh schedule tool is allows me to simply extract the coordinates of any category I like. This time I've programmed it to extract the uh, pile coordinates. So I've got some structural piles in here, you can see them in the 3D view as well in here. And what I wanted to do was to understand what the XYZ value of each one of those particular PALS was for construction purposes obviously. So that's what that coordinate schedule tool does. It's it's a really fast, very useful tool, very easy to use. It creates some creates some shared parameters in the background which are then fed into the category of information that we need to use and then it and then it goes and extracts those coordinates. Um, the renumber element tool which we've just introduced I think is a is a particularly exciting one. Um, renumber elements, if I click on it here, um, has got a whole number of um, options in it. One of the things that you might first notice is that on the left hand side you can see categories from all disciplines in there. So you're going to see uh, structural columns and foundations and there's going to be things like light fixtures and ducts and pipe fittings and things like that in there as well uh, when in your projects. And the reason for that is because this tool isn't limited to a single discipline. It is multidiscipline, a bit like the Autodesk Revit 2013 installation itself now. Um, and what this allows us to do is um, is to renumber anything we like. So a structural engineer can renumber his columns or her columns and building services engineer can go through renumber parts in a system or can uh, number the um, light fixtures for example. Um, if I use the example of doors in here, for, um, I can do things like, uh, I can select these doors, I can either do it manually, I've got three options up at the top here, I can do it manually, I can do pick objects, select horizontal which means it's going to cross the file automatically horizontally which tells you what order it's going to be selected in and vertically exactly the opposite. So if I go to select horizontal I'm going to get all the doors in this particular level, in this particular entry level view. Now I have lots of options here. I can simply like you can do with a couple of other tools that are out there I can go and um, renumber them so I can put prefixes and suffixes in there as well so I could put a prefix of say I don't know, S or D or something like that and I can do some number padding in here and then I can simply run it and it will go through and it will renumber all those numbers. And if I click on OK and look at the tags for them you can see that it's quite simply it's gone and renumbered them all. It's simple stuff. If I go back to here and I go back to that and go into the same option you'll see I've got the ability to create tags at the same time as renumbered as well so rather than rather than having two separate operations where you go and number everything up and then tag it all up separately as well. You can actually go and add them with this tool also and you can go load them in. In fact in some ways this is more transparent than the native tool because it's not hidden away on that options bar and you can go and load in the tag and choose which one you want use leaders, that sort of thing. Uh, one of the things that was most requested though was the ability to use room numbers. So if I click on room numbers here you get a second or a an extra column in here with the room numbers in and what 
uh, room number that door belongs to and I can use that room number I can set up my renumbering again and I can run it and you can see it goes and numbers all of these in but it doesn't carry on sequentially what it's doing is it's saying room 119 there's two doors in it so I get door 1 and door 2 and then in room 101 the number system restarts again and that's quite simply how it works. It's not the most complicated tool on the face of the planet, but we find that it works very, very well, and the feedback we've had has been very positive. Um, I'll put a link up at the end here. I hope you found that little demonstration useful. We're very interested in feedback, so I'll put my email address up at the end of this video as well. And feel free to give me a shout if you have any issues or questions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you.